<clears throat> Hi guys, welcome everyone. Creative Lori here. Welcome, welcome. I hope everyone's good tonight. I am getting on a little late. Um, <laughs> I meant to get on earlier, but I had some things to get done. So it took me a little longer than I thought. So I hope everyone's doing good. I'm um, just going to wait for a few people to get in here. Um, just letting a couple people know. Uh, let's see. Oh. And that's Sarah. Sarah, get down. Get down. Okay, sorry guys. I'm just letting a couple people know. Hi, Anna. Anna, did you want me, if if you don't buy anything tonight, did you want me to send your item? It's just one item. I like to hold on th to things until, you know, there's a couple things. Sarah. Hi, Francis. <laughs> uh, Sarah, don't. She's trying to grab me like this underneath. <laughs> I hope I'm not waking some people up because, oh, my gosh, it is, kind of, yeah, it is late East Coast time. No, Sarah. So I guess let me know, Anna, by the end if you want me to send it now or later if, if you don't get anything. Um, I think it's just a one item, so I don't want to hold on to it unless. Okay, just, yeah, let me know. Um, you may You might find some stuff that you might like. <laughs> Sarah, your nails. Okay, guys. I'm going to start show you all that I have. Uh, I did go and get some more goodies from my friend. And, um, gosh, my hair, <laughs> it looks messy, but I have it pulled back, actually. Hi, Pat. Yay, everyone's here, my people. Um... And, um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, my hair, it looked messy. It's because I tried to work outside today, and it was like 80 here, 80 degrees. But I kept getting sidetracked. Sarah, Sarah, you're going to have to get down, girl. Ay, caramba, cat. I dropped something, but oh well. Okay, I'm going to get started. I have some brooches I want to show you guys. Sarah, get down. Sarah, get down. Right now. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it might have been 82. I'll have to double check. Well, hold on, let me check real quick. And um, it was so nice. It was just so nice. And uh, let me, let's see, I have to go to like my home page. Nope, that's the wrong way. Well, um, I don't think that's right, but it's 61 now and it said 75, but I think it was 80 because um, I was re 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 reading the little thermometer thing that I have on the inside of my garage and it's cooler in there. But see, it's 61 now, and it was 75. But I think it was I think it was 80 because I was actually pretty warm. It was like a warm breeze. It was really nice. Sometimes when it goes into nighttime, it doesn't get the accurate reading. And I don't know about that one anyway. I, I should have put on another app. But really nice. Okay, let me show you. Oops, I've got. I I should stop drinking coffee because it, it's my heart's going. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I have a Liz Claiborne brooch here, still on the card. Oh, I know, huh? It's still nice. Actually, I feel chilly right now. I should have grabbed my jacket. I'll get it in a little bit. You know, I don't know. It's like when you get used to, like, it's been nice for, like, the last several couple, few weeks. Um, and you just get used to it and you start getting cold again, you know. 
This brooch is gorgeous. Um, I believe it's stainless steel. It's by Liz Claiborne. Yeah. And it's got rhinestones in it. It's still on the card. I remember when they were selling these at Macy's. Isn't that pretty? I know, Francis. It's so cold there. It's You said a foot and a half of snow. Man, oh, man. Look how nice and chunky this one is. It's so pretty. I love the edges. Almost looks like silver, huh? So that was the tag. Doesn't have the price, huh? Looks like they took it off. Must have been like a gift or something. I'm going to take it off of here real quick so I can show you guys the back. It's brand new and it has... Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? This one's going to be 10 if anyone's interested. $10. And it's beautiful. These can go for more, too, on eBay, Poshmark. But I'm trying to leave room for you guys to either sell it or you can give it as a gift, of course. Yeah, that's cold. No, thank you. <laughs> I I always joke and say I'm not visiting anyone. I don't I don't go anywhere cold, really, to be honest. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, no, nope. Mm -mm. It was not a cold winter here this year, which was really nice because I wore my flip flops the whole time and just thin. Thin, um, what's it called? Uh, socks, those really thin ones, you know. I there was a few times where my feet were cold, but but other than that, you know. Okay, this one, I think this is um, that material that's called cloisonne. It's not enamel, but it's like that see through material, like cloisonne, and then it has the um, rhinestone. Isn't that pretty? I believe this is a toucan. And the two cans, for whatever reason, go for more money. I have a really old two can. And um, hey, Cricket, how are you? <laughs> a really old one that my mom gave me years and years ago. I won't sell that one, but and this is, is that material called clothes and a? I think it is, where it, it's like a see-through enameling kind of thing. So pretty. This is the back. And this one's 10. It's in excellent condition. It doesn't look like it was ever worn. Remember those um, corn chips that had a toucan on them back in the 70s? I don't remember the name, but they were my favorite. I think Frito-Lay bought them out. Or Frito Lay owned them. I'm not sure. But I loved them because I always ate tuna fish sandwiches when I was a kid. I don't know why, but I didn't like peanut butter and jelly. So, <laughs> and I always had to have corn chips or tortilla chips with my sandwich. I still am like that to this day. Hi, Adam. I don't know why. I just am. I don't, I'm really. Uh, picky with chips, I guess. But I do like chips, so. Oh, I know. I do. I feel better. I <coughs> That was a jinx. <laughs> Let me knock on wood. Yeah, I do feel better. I mean, I'm not coughing like I was. Um, let me fix my hair here. Um, gosh, I mean, the coughing fits were terrible because I would gag. But um, not only that, like, I feel, because I felt like I had a little secondary, maybe sinus infection, I don't know. And um, I was kind of sneezing, <laughs> sneezing out stuff. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's no great way of putting that. Sarah, you have to get down, girl. Or you could stay on my lap, but that's it, okay? Oh, it's always one one of the animals. Um Okay. <laughs> I do have, oh, I have some pretty little like bracelets and sets. I'm going to show you this set. Okay, girl, you don't have to get down. 
sorry. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, maybe it wasn't a sinus infection because they tend to last a long time. Well, I probably had it for two weeks. Mm -hmm. It could have been. I just never went to the doctor for it, though. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> um, all right, this is a set. It's called, how do you, oh, I'm asking you, Francis, like you can get on here and say it. I think it's pronounced Peru, Peru, and it uh, means a pear, and um, these are little freshwater pearls, and it, to me, this looks like Jasper, the little um, coral color, which I love coral in the spring and summer. We have a stomach virus going around and a nasty cold virus. Oh, no. Going around. Guess, and who is getting both at once? Oh, no. Oh, cricket. You know what, though? It's, it's almost inevitable because you have been working such long, long 12-hour days for like six days a week. It's almost like inevitable that your body will, you know, you run down and then you catch something. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That's terrible. I hope you're hope you feel better. Oh. You're not working tomorrow, are you? I hope not. Okay, so this is the set. It's by Lu Coral, L U C O R A L, and it's a uh, natural Freshwater pearls, and then it has the little coral color jasper, and then little brass beads. I hope you guys can see it. There we go. Really pretty. It is a set. Oh, good. So glad you have a day off, you poor thing. Here's the bracelet. Isn't that pretty? There's only one set on um, eBay right now that you can check it against of this brand. It's a vintage one, and um, it was $65, I think. So I'm going to ask $40 for this one, so whomever wants to sell it can. And it's called Lou, oops, Lou Coral. Not that you can make that out, but L-U-C-O-R-A-L. Blue coral, and it's actually a really beautiful set. Perfect. I mean, look at that. I love that coral color in there. And it has that beautiful, um, what's it called? Little clasp that goes inside. I don't remember the name, but it's an excellent shape. And the blue coral is on both of the um, bracelet back and the um, necklace back. So that is the necklace. And there's the one that they had on eBay was a lapis one. I think this is prettier with the um, jasper, in my opinion, because I really love coral color at this time of year. So that's the necklace. It's um, three strands, freshwater pearls, and then the matching bracelet. And it's by Lou Coral. Okay. I'm going to put that right here for now. Okay. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have some really pretty earrings, too. I went to go see my friend. Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. Um, and she had some earrings that I got from her again. Another, um, that was $40, that set, Francis. And um, I got some, oh, it's okay. You stepped to sleep. Oh, a sign? 
and uh, <laughs> step to sleep. And so I have a bunch of that. Oh, here it is. Let me grab it. Sorry, my chair is making noises. It's like, I think the back of my jeans are hitting the back of the chair. Okay. So I have, she, I asked her, well, she said, you like stones, right? And I said, I do. And so she, um, she gave me a bunch of stones, stone earrings this time. Yeah. Now I love aventurine. So <laughs> we know what you meant. We can, we're all fluent in, um, autocorrect. <laughs> Now, I only, I do have different variations of colors on these, but n not on all of them. Um, and I'll show you the ones I do or that I have. So I asked her, I said, um, do you have like a venturine? And she says she, she did. So I, I got a bunch of her venturine. So let me show you those. I think I have, yeah, here we go. Hi, Michelle, how are you? Um, let me put this box up here because it's kind of in my way. So these are, these are all new, oops. So the balls are Aventurine. And then that's Black Jasper. And then this is amethyst. Aren't they pretty and very feminine? Isn't that beautiful? Aventurine to me is like jade. It's like in the makings of jade, basically. And I just think it's so beautiful. Um, so these are $5 if anyone is interested. And you're getting all that stone. Okay, Francis, thank you. So that one's yours, the Lou Coral. This one here, I'll put it aside. Thank you. Um, let's see, let me move this. <laughs> and then everything I'm about to show you is all stone, guys, because I'm really, I like stones. I That's pretty much my thing. And my dad's thing. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I have two, and I can get more from her, so that'll be good. Thanks, guys. Let me write it down. Francis. You know what? It's not my jeans. It's the actual chair. It's like... I think I, I think this one is getting loose too. <laughs> do, you, do you hear it? Hi, Diane. Okay. Francis, uh, Lou Coral Set. And that's Freshwater Pearl Jasper. Thank you so much. Then we have Francis for the Aventurine. Jasper, and Amethyst Earrings. Thank you so much. That's a great deal, too, $5. And then Pat wanted one. Pat, same one. So let me, I'll, and I'll show you guys, too. Thank you, guys. Hey, um, Becky. I almost said Lori. Hey, Vanessa, I was just thinking about you. I was going to say hello to you. <laughs> on here thinking maybe you were watching <laughs> oh did you go visit some pups today uh no i have only been on gosh just a few minutes hi daisy how are you did you get your package and did you like everything um 
You just woke up? Oh, my goodness. Hi, Sandy. You looked at more puppies and kittens. Oh, how wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys these earrings because I just sold two of them. Um, and I can get more from my friend who makes these. These are Aventurine. Oh, my nails. Sorry. My nails look terrible today because I did work in the yard a little bit. Um, <laughs> these are Aventurine, Black Jasper, and Amethyst. And they are on Surgical Steel. Aren't they pretty? The color combination is gorgeous. These are only $5, you guys. So I had two. I can get more from her. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> My yard is a mess, you guys. I'm like, it's a jungle junkyard. And that's what I wrote in the title on my other channel. I've been work. I've only started today. It was, I, I only worked one, about 45 minutes because I had to cut it short. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. So I'm going to write that. I'm going to call it the Neapolitan. Okay. Set. What a great deal. All stones for $5. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it. Thank you. Okay. The next one that she has um, are also stone. And where'd the other one go? Oh. <laughs> It was so clickbait. Do you really think so? Because I said makeover, how long it's going to take to do the makeover? Or why was it clickbait? Because it said jungle junkyard? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. Guys, go watch my other video. See what my on my other channel, Creative Lori, and see what my backyard looks like right now. It's embarrassing. It was embarrassing, but I feel like if I show you guys, then I have to do it, right? <laughs> okay, so here are these ones. So it is the Black Jasper, Amethyst, Aventurine, Amethyst, Black Jasper. And these ones are seven, if anyone is interested. And they're very feminine, very pretty. All natural stones. Okay, thank you. Um, oh, I love, I love, actually, I just noticed it. It has kind of a Native American feel to it. Which, by the way, I found out she is Native American. Sarah. Um, and because I'm going to show you some other things that she made that are kind of Native American-like. Okay, Sarah, you're going to have to get down, little girl. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. This is Sarah. Vanessa, you want her? She is a love bug, but she's 11 now. She's a friendly cat, though. Really friendly. I'll drive her to you all the way to Florida. <laughs> no, because then I'll probably want to take her back. I'll be so sad, <laughs> even though she drives me crazy. Hi, girl. I love you, but you got to get down. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, thank you, Michelle. Okay, did you want a pair too? Um, Pat, I'm just going to write it down because I'll go pick up more. She actually came to me um, this time because I couldn't get away. So, Michelle, this one I'm going to call um, Banded, Banded Neapolitan, okay? with all the stones. Banded Neapolitan with all the stones. And then Pat wants a pair also. Got it, thanks guys. Okay, next one. She, um, she's, she's really, she, she, um, I like how she pairs her stones together. Like the colors are really good. 
That's why I think I keep just buying from her. She is my friend, but I don't really make hardly anything off of these, but I kind of just want to help her anyways. And I dropped these. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Pat. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, now these are also seven, but for any of you who have aventurine, um, this is majority aventurine and amethyst. Look how beautiful. And these are only seven. Aren't they beautiful? Seven dollars for these. And you get three avent sorry, my light is bad. Three aventurine and then some amethyst. Sarah, get down. <laughs> Gosh. Look, she's back up here again, guys. She just won't leave me alone. I think I wanted your ideas for a free update too. I have a project yard too. Well, you know what? The best makeover is always a free makeover and just clean up. And I am determined I'm going to do it this time. I mean, my yard always looks um, pretty neat and clean, but last year I didn't do it because my dad had his two surgeries and then I hurt my foot. So I, And then I was working a lot, so I couldn't. Sarah. Thank you, Francis. <laughs> so... I'm going to call these um, Aventurine Trio. With Amethyst. Thank you. Anyone else? Aren't they pretty? Okay. Moving on. All right, so I'm going to show you a set really quick that she made, and then I'll go into the Native American-looking ones that she made. Um, thank you. Okay, so where did my – here we go. I'll show this one in a second. Now, I only have one of these from her, and it's a set. Here it is. And it's brand new. It's um, silver plated. It has an extender. It is purple Chinese marble stone and a venturine. And the chain itself is so pretty. So these is this is a necklace. Isn't that pretty? I love that color combination. They're opposite in the color wheel. So that's why the colors go really nicely together. So you have all that aventurine and this beautiful Chinese marble stone. I hope you can see it. And this is new. It's silver plated. What a pretty chain. I don't know if you could see the detail in it, but it's got like oxidation and it's silver plated. Really pretty. It does have an extender. Thank you. It has um, like a three inch extender. It's just a really pretty chain. And then these are the earrings. So let me put it back on the mannequin. So it's a nice little set. Yeah, it's pretty. I love this color combo. Okay, I'll show you the earrings. That's the necklace, and then here are the earrings. I put them on this card. So this set is 35. I just realized this card has a hole in it. <laughs> oh well. Oh, and the earrings 
are um, the shepherd's hook are silver plated as well. Aren't they pretty? Don't they look like those um, stones that you see people stack without anything, you know, just balancing them? So it is the Chinese marble stone and adventure. Oops. Okay. Hold on one second. And then I don't know if you could see the earring hooks. Those are silver plated also. So we have the necklace, which is new. And the matching earrings. And it's 35. Isn't that pretty? And the chain is really nice. It's a very thick, long chain, and it does have an extender. Okay. Okay. Now she she only has she only gave me one of the necklace because she had it. She takes special orders on those, but she says she has more of the earrings. Okay, so let me see here. Uh, can I swap the $5 earrings for the last $7 one? Okay, let's see. Which one did you want? Okay, so not on that one, but that one. Got it. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Um, you mean these, right, Michelle? Say yes, if that's the one. Okay, so Michelle. The. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you got, um, you got this one and the band, the ones I call banded. Aren't they pretty? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, all right. Then the next necklace that she has <clears throat> is also, um, she doesn't have earrings to this, but she said she could make them um, if you are wanting them. I know, I love, I love aventurine. I really do. Um, this is... So it's a necklace that is also silver plated, but it's a twist chain. And it does have an extender, uh, I would say three inch. And this is called um, Blue, Blue Center Agate. And I love this stone, it's so pretty. So that's what it looks like from afar, because I know it's kind of hard to see from afar. And let me just get up close and show you. So it's all new, it's silver plated. It's all the same stone. Look how pretty, look how beautiful that stone is. And so they're all different, like, variations. I don't know if you can see, like, little veining. Um, oh, my gosh. I just got Martha's um, notification that she was on yesterday. That's how behind it is. So this is 30, if anyone's interested. Look how beautiful. It's like an aqua color. The edges are beautiful. It reminds me of live edge wood in a way. But, <clears throat> and this is the back. It's equally as pretty. You can't see all the aqua that I'm seeing, but it's beautiful. The, like, it's like um, little crackles in, it's, it's called veining, but um, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's called center blue agate. And this one's 30. And this is also silver plated. Thank you. 
So it's a longer necklace, which I like. I think that's a great idea that she did that. Really pretty, beautiful. Okay, so that one's 30. Um, and she said she could make earrings if you wanted it. So let me put those aside. Now the Native American earrings. Because I said, hey, those look Native American. <laughs> she goes, well, I am Native American. And I said, oh, okay, that explains the color combo. Uh, I'm just going to grab. Okay, here we go. So there's different variations and colors in this, but excuse me. Um, this is coral, um, howlite, and jasper. So these are the two different variations. I like both. Oh, I've got it crooked. So they're nice chunks. And these are going to be $5 if anyone's interested. So coral, howlite, and then black jasper. And the same over here, jasper, howlite, and coral. And these are all new. Five on those. Okay. Look how pretty. Oh, it's hard to see with my earring. Hold on. They're nice. I really like them. Okay. So that's that color combo that she has that have that Native American. It's also that like Chico's and Cold Water Creek style for the summer and spring. Okay. Then... I have, oh, these are pretty. <laughs> I really like these too. So for any of you who like purple, these are really, really pretty. And this is the um, Chinese marble stone and amethyst. And just the way she picked each stone, really, it, it, they match each other so well. It's purple. I hope you can see that. My light's terrible. Can you see the veining in the jasper? It's a beautiful, it's like a really grape purple, you know? Oh, you can kind of see it better back here, the purple. And then you have the amethyst. And these are also seven, if anyone's interested. Thank you, Francis. They're so organic, you know. That's what I like about them. I love all this kind of stuff. Thank you. Okay, and I have um, a couple of these. I can get more. Okay, so Francis. And I'm going to call, let's see, Chinese Marble Stone and Amethyst Earrings. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you so much. Okay, so then the next one, let's see, I showed you guys this. I'm going to put it over here. Let's see. Oh, this was the other color combo. Did I show you this one already? Oh, I did show you, okay, this color combo. Okay, so I have three of those Native American colors um, 
four actually right now. So that's good. I actually like them. Uh, let's see. Then I have these. Okay. These are um, amethyst and turquoise. So the other ones that I had sold um, previously may have been turquoise also, but um, I'm not sure. I Because these are a little bluer, so I could be wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Jennifer. So these are turquoise Buddhas. This is the young Buddha. And then amethyst, top and bottom. And these are seven. Aren't they pretty? I love these. And then... They're pretty. And I know the lighting is bad. I should get a light box. I keep saying that, but of course I haven't done it. <laughs> okay. Seven on those. And I think I showed you guys this already. Yes, I did. Okay, these are the ones that are five. So you have the Aventurine, the Black Jasper, and the Amethyst. And these are five. I just found another pair that I had. Okay. Oh, I'll put it here. Okay. Next thing. Okay, this is Francis. Let me put this aside. Hold on one second. <gasps> this whole thing almost fell over. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> Okay. Thanks, guys. She does a good job. And she's um, super, what's the word? Versatile. Like, she's always got something new, you know? Mm, Martha, I was just talking about you. Your notification for yesterday just came up. Like, I just got it. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Something is going on with YouTube. Okay, this one is brand new. Um, this is turquoise, stainless steel, and um, copper. And it's new. It's on a, I think this is, yeah, 18-inch stainless steel necklace. It's the Tree of Life. So all of this is stainless steel and it has a little bit of copper and then the tree trunk is copper and this is all turquoise. I like copper. Oh, see, I'm wearing copper, copper today too. Okay, it's pretty in the front and the back. But I think, I think the other side's the front. It has a big bale. You can see. And the necklace is an 18-inch new stainless steel necklace. It's a box chain, which is my favorite. Box chain. Okay. 
Thank you. Okay, this one, guys, is a steal. No, Sarah. <laughs> this one's 20. So you get the pendant with the turquoise, copper, stainless steel, and then the new stainless steel chain for 20. Sarah, can you please get down? Get down, Sarah. Sarah, come on. Get down. Girl, I you can't be on me right now, okay? Your tail gets in my face. <laughs> God. Sometimes her tail will go like swag and it hits my lip gloss. Oh, it's so annoying. And here she is again. <laughs> And it's a pretty big um, pendant. Girl, can you get down? Come on. Come on down. No, don't rub on that. Come down for a sec. Can, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on down. Come on. Do you see what I'm talking about? This tail. Your tail, girl. And no one wants to see your behind anyway. So you're going to have to get it down. <laughs> Now has the run of the house since the dogs have moved. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, deal. <laughs> oh, let me get a little closer. Okay, so isn't that beautiful? <coughs> I think the diameter on this is. Oh, I don't remember, but I I like that there's copper on it too. Two and a quarter, two and a quarter inches. So it's pretty big. And you know, stainless won't tarnish. Oh, I bet you do miss them. Um... Okay. That one. Kind of reminds me, it has like a 70s vibe to it. I, I like that. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. I'm going to switch gears a little bit. Um, this one is a, uh, I just tangled it, darn it. Um, it's a silver tone chain. And I think it's a football team, you know, with the eagle on it. Eagles, I guess. Makes sense. And the chain is in silver tone and the bail. But the, um, well, actually, I think the bail is stainless steel. But it's that stainless steel that has a little, little stick to it. And then the actual eagle. So it is, yeah, it's an 18-inch chain. The actual eagle is full stainless steel. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I have caught them like they lick it, lick it, lick it to death and I have to like take them away from them and I just have to kill it myself because they're just suffering. <sighs> I know, I know it's so sad. So wouldn't you say, guys, this is a, the Eagles um, mascot? And who who are the Eagles? Is that, I don't know. Is that New Jersey? I don't even know. Is that in the south somewhere? I have no clue. But it's really nice, this pendant. Isn't that nice? This one's going to be $4. It looks brand new, if anyone's interested. The chain looks like it's silver, but it's actually silver tone. Let me put it on here. Sorry, you know what? I had coffee before I came on. And so, Philly. Okay, thank you, Martha. Thank you, thank you. And I'm just like wired. <laughs> 
And I burnt my tongue, too. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm clueless. I don't know. It's a nice one, though. Don't you hate that when you burn the roof of your mouth and your tongue? Okay. Shh. No, we don't need to hear you. We don't need to hear you. Okay. Um, this is a little glass bead. It's so pretty. Um, and um, it's like a Royal Borealis glass bead. And then there are some opalite. Oh, wait, hold on. I can't remember. Hold on, hold on. They look like opalite. I'm pretty sure they are, but um, so it's a pretty toggle bracelet. I like toggle. Oh, pizza always gets me. Pizza always. Um, it's got the lime green disc and then the clear lime green. And I think these are opalite. And then there are the square ones that are just Arroyo Borealis. Uh, these could be. So we're just going to call them glass beads. But they're all glass. It's so pretty. Perfect for spring and summer. I don't want to put it on. Okay, so this one's going to be um, $3 if anyone's interested. And it's got the pretty toggle. It's all glass. Okay, Jennifer, a little bit ahead of, um, is ahead of Michelle. So thank you, Jennifer. I'm just going to call it um, Lime Green Glass Bracelet. Thank you. Where did my bag go? Here it is. Thank you. <laughs> Same taste, yeah. It's pretty. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Then I have... These little, sorry, have phone call. Any moonstone tonight? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have some opalite, and I it would kind of go with that bracelet, actually. I was just trying to see if these are signed. Yeah, not signed, but they are um, hallmarked. Oh, actually, they are moonstone. I thought these were opalite, but these are moonstone. So, yes. These are pretty, too. Trying to see if they're marked like a name. I kind of, I can't see right there. Hold on. It just says nine two. Uh, I can't make it out. Let me see on this one. Achoo! 
excuse me, guys. <sighs> I can't make it out. Anyways, let's see here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let me put them on a card so you can see them a little better. Let's see. We'll put them on this one. They are silver. Pretty thick. There we go. And I don't know if you could see them that. Well, yeah, you can. They're like a large shepherd's hook. It is a lot less, thank God. I don't know if you can see that little flash in there. Thank you. <laughs> and these are 18, if anyone's interested. And they're silver. They're pretty thick. I don't know if you guys can see, like, the thickness. Uh, 18, 1, 8. Let me type it in. One, eight, 18, Sarah, I swear, hi Barbie, this one's Moonstone, I don't know if you can see the flash there. It's like on this on the side here. There's like a, it's um, what's it called? It is. Oh gosh, hold on, it'll. Sarah, can you please stop? Um, it's like the veining in it that gives the flash. What was? What was that noise? Sarah, did you see? She just messed up my hair more. <laughs> Sarah, thank you, Pat. Thank you. Okay, girl, get down because you're really in my way. Come on, girl. I love you, but oh, Lord have mercy. Seeing if I kept hearing something. I don't know if a cat got stuck in the cabinet because whenever I open the bottom cabinets, they want to go in there, and I hate that. Let's see. Sarah wants to wear the moonstone earrings. She would look pretty with them with her black fur. <laughs> then, oh, let you get any more of them. Let, let, let you know if I get any more of them. Okay. Well, here's the thing, guys. I don't want you guys fighting in here. Whoever gets it, gets it. You know what I mean? If, and Pat always gives up her stuff, too. Pat, if you want to give the let Michelle buy them, then you know that's fine. Um, you're mad. <laughs> you're mad kiddingly, or you're really mad. Um, it's hard to like, you know, sometimes I will say, because I wasn't even sure if those were 
Moonstone until I checked them. Um, but yeah, when I, if I just say, okay, they're 18, you know, over the price or whatever, whoever says it first or gets it first, gets it first. And no fighting, no making anyone feel bad, of course. But I think you're probably kidding, Michelle. Um, so if, Pat, if you do want to pass them along. Okay, kidding. Yes, it is a word. <laughs> um, okay, so Michelle, Pat wants to know if you want them instead. And if not, then... That's okay, too. No, it's, you know what? It's kind of the luck of the draw. Whoever, you know, gets it, gets it kind of thing. Sometimes, though, I will say, okay, so-and-so. Um, this matched, I think it was Francis, the earrings you bought the other day because it's the exact same Buddha. So I asked if she wanted it, you know. Okay. Michelle, let me know, and then if not, then we'll move on. Yes, of course. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So thank you, Pat. That was so nice of you. So gracious. That's very nice. Okay. So I'm going to write Michelle. Okay. Uh, let me put them over here. Let's see. Hold on, guys. I gotta reach. <clears throat> I did, but I wasn't sure, and you kind of came back uh, like after the fact. That's why when I go back up here, so. Yeah. Okay, so if anyone's lagging or anything or whatever, if they're in someone else wants something from this point on, whoever gets it, gets it. Okay, great. Um, the next thing I have is an Avon necklace, and this is a vintage one that um, I cannot find it anywhere, but they do make other ones. And I'm gonna show you. So it looks like, um, let me get close. So it looks like a four leaf clover, right? But ah, this is why I love Avon so much. Look at, you can open it and it's all the hearts. It's like a little, isn't that so cute? So you can bend it as much as you want. Isn't that pretty? I swear, I think my cat, oh, maybe he's under the table. That's what I'm hearing. It is marked Avon. It is stainless steel. And this one's $5. And the chain's a little different. It's like um, where it goes like chain and then it's flattened. Chain. I don't know if you could see that. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Diane. I actually thought about keeping it because I do love shamrocks or four leaf clovers. But I, I do have stuff that I, I have too much stuff. You know, I think I don't have like four leaf clovers. I do. Can you guys hear him snoring? Sarah. Oh my gosh. Golly. It is different. Okay, hold on. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> uh, 
Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's really snoring now. Okay, so then I have, let's see, Diane, Avon. You know, I think he is in my cabinet. Yeah, I think he is because I had to get in there earlier. Okay, I'm just going to call it heart, foldable heart necklace. So anytime I take anything out of the bottom cabinets, I have to wash it before I use it. It's really irritating. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, next thing. I don't know where I got this, to be honest. Um, it's a key fob or a purse fob. Um, looks brand new. It's got one of the nice, those big, whatever, you know, the lobster claw. It's pretty thick, and it has like for the keychain, I guess, maybe so you could do both. Um, and I think the initials are see, this is baffling. I think it says C S R. Is that right? No, I didn't, um, Diane. I was going to, and I thought, well, I'm gonna go on today. Yes, definitely. Ooh, cat hair and soup is <laughs> Um, so I because this is initials, clearly, I'm just gonna say um three dollars, but it I don't know. Do you guys know the initials? It's probably like the purse, maybe. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. Um, I do have some pretty little rings, but uh, let me show you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That's real gross. Now I'm looking in my mug. Just make sure. CSR. I mean, to me, that's customer service rep, but that's true, Barbie. Okay, thank you, Becky. I don't know what is that, but it's got little rhinestones on it. I remember someone saying to me at work, um, when I worked for this um, one company, we had our lunch catered. They used to get our lunch catered all the time. And, um, it, you know, I'm vegetarian. And so they had roasted, thank you, roasted, um, hold on, let me write this down, keychain. And I, by the way, I think it's stainless. Let me double check. I don't know where my magnet went, but I think it is. Well, that, okay, no, it's not. The actual CSR is, but the keychain part is not. Okay, the that part is, and it's stainless, but not the chain. So stainless and stainless, This these two parts, okay? Um, so we had roasted bell pepper or, um, well, they had roasted bell peppers, red ones, and also asparagus. And someone had said, and I just loaded my plate up with asparagus because, I mean, I couldn't really eat. Well, no, they had salad, you know, and pasta salad too. And, but I, I love asparagus. So someone had said, ew, I don't like to eat asparagus. Um, asparagus, because you know um, how it makes your, you know, 
urine smell. And I said, well, if anyone's that close to me, then they need to step away <laughs> for that. <laughs> and she just looked at me and I thought, well, you know, come on. It was such a weird thing to say. It's like, I'm going to enjoy my asparagus. I'm sorry. Too bad. <laughs> Some people just, she was younger, but still, come on. Let me enjoy my asparagus. Okay, this is, um, these are double knotted or single knotted? This one, I think this is double knotted. It's kind of hard to tell, but I believe it is because it's pretty thick. Um, this is a vintage piece of hematite. I know, no filter on some people. Holy moly. And it's very heavy. These are solid like hematite. It's really pretty. And remember, guys, hematite is worth money. People don't think it is, but I think they're starting to realize it. Anyways, I'm going to ask um, $8 for this one. It's a bigger one. I'm going to show you because I have a bigger <gasps> wrist. So this would be plenty enough for me. And I ha it has room to go up and down. She's like, yeah, rude. <laughs> it's like, what are you going to follow me into the bathroom, you know? Come on. Oh, I was on a, um, I have to tell you guys this. I was on a, um, what's it called? Uh, in a, um, oh my gosh, it was on Facebook. Um an auction. And I think one of the moderators in there, she's, she's probably younger. And, um, oh, the gal who was selling was saying, um, something about like, Oh, now I don't remember what it was. Oh, something like, Oh, kids nowadays don't know what that is. And I don't remember what it was. And then I said, I know. And I said, and they don't know how to read cursive either. And so she wrote to me, <laughs> I thought it was so funny. I didn't realize she was young. I, I really didn't. Uh, she goes, uh, LOL, or OK, boomer, like, you know, baby boomer. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not a baby boomer, but I know how to write cursive. Because <laughs> sometimes for my tenants, the like the younger ones before these, actually, the police officer can't write, read cursive very well either. He's younger. Um, they don't know how to read it. And that bothers me. How are you going to read the um, anything from our past and history, you know? <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Let's see, Baby Boomer. I think that's from the Depression era, or no, after World War II. So that would be like born in 45, let's say, 45 on. Yeah, so I was like, geesh. I'm, I'm, I'm not, and you know what? I think, I think everyone should know how to read cursive. <laughs> it's important. Anyways, I like this one because it's a little bit bigger for this baby boomer over here. <laughs> I didn't say anything to her. I just laughed, but I thought it was kind of funny. It's like, gosh, is it that obvious? I'm a baby boomer, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I'm still kind of laughing about it. Oh, I had her, when she was here, I had her um, 1946 to 1964. Okay, so that is before my time. Let's see. Yes, so I think, let's see. Actually, my dad isn't a baby boomer, and neither is, neither was my mom. Um. <laughs> okay, boomer. And I thought, well, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> 
So I had my friend fix this. Um, I thought maybe, you know, if there's only one charm on the bracelet and then make them into earrings, can I say, can you do that? She goes, sure. And she whipped out her little kit out of her purse. So it's a wood bracelet. It's whitewashed with a little howlite turtle and little clear beads and then the earrings that match. So let me take this off. Now this bracelet fits me uh, nicely. So, so for anyone who has maybe a little larger wrist or hands like I do, Ooh, isn't that nice? So this little set, the earrings are $5 and the bracelet's $5. So if you want them both, um, it's 10. I think, is it millennial? I think maybe a millennial, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think it is a millennial. Or it, maybe it was. It's 1986. I don't. I don't remember. I have to look it up. It's nothing wrong, but I'm called something else. I'm a um, because I was born in 72. I can't. That yeah, Generation X. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yes. 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 You're you're a baby boomer. Oh, Martha. Martha's a baby boomer. I'm a Generation X. Yeah, look it up. I'm not sure. I kind of like that it's called Generation X. I feel kind of special. So $5 each. I just thought it was cute because they're all the exact same. The earrings match the bracelet. So if you guys are interested, I had her fix it for me. Um, which she's just so fast. Okay, let's see. Generation it X is 65 to 79. Oh, okay. I guess I made it by a few years. <laughs> okay, I think I showed you guys these. All right, we're going to move on from the earrings that she's made. And... Oh, okay, this came off. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. She gets so excited when I keep buying from her. So I like supporting her. And it's just nice to show something different, you know. I showed you guys that. These are turquoise and amethyst. And these are Buddhas. Hi, Manji. Manji, are you coming to California on Friday? Oh, Diane's a millennial. I'm sorry. No, just kidding. <laughs> I hear my kitty outside. Oh, you did call me? Oh, okay. I, I can't... Um, I haven't been, I can't check my messages, so uh, I'll, I'll text you after this. But I'm so glad. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Wait, were you the 770, 770 area code? Because I did see that come in. Oh, I already showed you guys that. I'm getting all mixed up. Okay, this next necklace is sterling silver, uh, abalone, Quartz, uh, some form of quartzite, and I think it's called ch cherry. It's cherry something quartzite. Um, these are the little freshwater potato pearls, or I think they're called potato pearls. Um, an abalone, it's sterling. The lobster claw is sterling. It's really pretty. The pearls are really nice too. Because it's not just like the oblong ones. It's like this these round ones too. These round fat ones. <laughs> Sorry, Diane. I'm just teasing you though, okay? <laughs> I don't really care. 
604. Okay, I didn't see that one, but I, I probably just missed it. Okay, so you see all the um, abalone. And then this is the quartzite that I was talking about. And then these are the pearls. Okay, uh, let's see. See how this is a little fat one up here? And then the abalone. And then you have like the little pear ones down here. And then this is the cherry something quartzite. And I can't remember the full name, sorry. And it's silver. It's really pretty. <clears throat> this one is 30 if anyone's interested. I know I love all abalone too. And this one is like um, sometimes what they do with abalone is they'll take two slices of abalone and then they'll put like resin in the middle. But this is all abalone. It's like um, you could see that they pieced it together. But it's there's not the resin there aren't there isn't resin in the middle. Sorry, can't talk. And it does have an extender, so it's a Y necklace, but it does have an extender. Thank you. Isn't that nice? This is looking really bright, but it's not as bright as it looks. Well, maybe there we go. It's it's kind of like a washed out quartzite, but. It does have pink to it, so never mind. It's not like um, rose quartz or anything, but it's so pretty. And then it has some little, I think these are Swarovskis. I can just tell from the brilliance, and they look like that cut that they do. Okay, so that one, 30, that's pretty. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Let me put it in the baggie because I don't want this to get scratched. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. If I keep looking because I think my chat is lagging. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay, sorry. Just saw my dad leave me. If he can't get a hold of me, he'll um, send me a text. And it just comes automatic now through our carrier, which is kind of nice because he can't really text. <sighs> okay, what else? Okay, I do have a Sarah Coventry. Hold on, this earring. Um, brooch and <laughs> okay I won't tell him <laughs> we're gonna have to um oh it's gonna be so good to see you Manji we're gonna have to like go off to the side or something and you're gonna have to like I don't know how we're gonna do it but what um what town are you gonna be in Manji Oh, gosh. It says Sarah Cub on the back. Look how big this thing is. A lot of nice embossing. And it says Sarah Cub right here, right there. <laughs> just tell him uh, you have to go to the bathroom and we'll go inside wherever we meet 
and um, we'll go to the bathroom and do it. Oh, wait a minute. Then people are going to think we're doing something in the bathroom like illegal. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, this one's $10 if anyone's interested. Oh, wait, your sister-in-law might be with you, huh? So we can't do that. She might say, hey, let's go. I'll go to the bathroom with you. You know how all girls go to the bathroom together? <laughs> oh, God. We were thinking seeing you on Monday on the way back to Canada. I'll go. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, she's not coming? Oh, good. Sorry, but that'll give us more privacy. <laughs> yes, 10, and it's a Sarah Coventry. It looks like an excellent condition, like no one even wore it. Um, the pin's straight. There's no wear. I think there's raccoons outside. And there's this big Maine Coon out here that likes to bug my cats. Although I like him, but he can be really uh, kind of dominant. And he, he chases after my cats like a, um, a bunny. Thank you. $10 and it can be yours. It's really pretty big. So here's my palm of my hand. You know, you know what? In fact, I I made two eggs today, and I had to put the shells aside because they like the shells, like the, the inside of the shells. Because I tried to put them in my planners, but um, like that, and I had mixed in some coffee grinds. And I was so afraid that they were going to dig into it and, like, eat it and get them all wired. And they did. They did. And I thought, oh, my God, they're probably so wired. I felt so bad. So I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, I'll just put the eggs out at night before I go to bed. <laughs> Poor, <laughs> Poor raccoons. <laughs> oh, I should have known they would have. And they didn't do it right away. They waited a few days. Okay. i show you that. Oh, look at this. Okay, let me show you guys this one. This is a stainless steel. Let me double check. Yeah, stainless steel uh, brooch. It's in excellent condition once again. I don't think anyone wore it. Um, I don't see any hallmark on it, but it's a multicolored rhinestone. And all of the rhinestones are there, but let me double check because I would hate to say that and then say, oh, never mind. Yeah, they're all there. He's cute. Look how pretty. And this is a big one. This one's going to be $10 if anyone's interested. It's a nice, pretty frog. Multicolored. Rhinestone. Yeah, I love... And there's this old little possum that I feed because... You know when they get older, they get real boxy, like rectangular, and I could tell he's older. So I just put food out for him because I don't want him to have to, you know, <laughs> worry about food. <laughs> but he kind of scares my outside cat when I don't bring her in. But she should come in, shouldn't she? So this one's a bigger one, too. I don't know if you could see the size. It's kind of hard to hold this one, but. So, no, I definitely don't have a pet possum, but <laughs> I do feed him because I do feel bad for him. 
is old and every time like he he'll just chill out on my shed on top of this plastic shed right here outside and um he just um chills out because i think he's just old and he wants to eat and then drink and eat and drink and i'll go out there and um, he won't move until like if i move a little too fast or something and then he'll hop in the tree <laughs> Good night, Cricket. I know it's so late there. <laughs> Give a kiss to that little baby, your grandson. Ah, uh, we'll say hello to Logan too. Good night. <laughs> um, speaking of babies, come here. Um, yeah. So I no, he's not my pet. <laughs> Becky, trying to get me in trouble over here. <laughs> but I know where you're going with this. And yes, normally <laughs> I would say. Now, this is an interesting piece because um, it is stainless. Here's the troublemaker right here. It does have marcasite. All the marcasites are on here. Um, it looks kind of like... Um, like it would be silver, but I this is stainless. It does have a code or a serial number in the back on the leaf. Um, on this little leaf here, there's a serial number, and you probably won't be able to see it, but there is. And I think it's a five-digit serial number. And it is this little brooch, and it's all marcasite. This one's going to be $6 if anyone's interested. <laughs> the puppy is trying to get in my blouse, and I'm like, no, you can't do that <laughs> right now. <laughs> he has his spring um, collar. Look at him. It's a little lime green one with um, the little dog bones on it. And the dog bones are... Um, uh, like glow in the dark. Look at him. He's always so tired, you guys. Look at, there he goes. He's so tired. Gary! Where's Gary? Where's Gary? Anyways, I, I got him the matching um, leash. It's just from the dollar store. Because his fell off the other day and I couldn't find it. Oh, my little buddy. You're my baby, huh? <laughs> Don't forget Millie, the skunk. She comes around still. <laughs> so six on this one. And it does have the uh, serial number on that leaf over there, or the stem. Okay. He was just trying to get in my shirt again. Buddy, you, ha you have to go on your bed, okay? You have your bed right over there. And you have your blankies. <sighs> oh, God, I hope not. So far, so good. And it's been a few years, so. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. God. And you know what? Um, it wasn't Millie, but it was one of her offspring, baby, which is Millie's a skunk. And um, this is like last year, I think, when Brian and I were going to Taco Bell all the time late. And we were coming back and the the light, I think, or we didn't turn on the porch light. So Brian was walking ahead of me because I had to grab something else. And um, he walks really fast to the door. And then you all of a sudden you see this little, little small um, skunk running away. And he's like... <gasps> Because <laughs> she was eating the cat food. And Brian was like, damn it, Lori, you need to stop putting cat food out here. But the look on his face was hilarious. Oh, it was pretty funny. Oh, God. Woodland animals. <laughs> Oh, God. If he, oh, my God. If he would have gotten sprayed, can you guys imagine what he would have done? He would have just had a fit. 
I mean, of course, and I understand, you know. So I, I used to pull the food, and I didn't get um, the critters in the back for, a, for in the front for a, um, for a long time. So now I just put the food in the back sometimes. Okay, this is a seven and one quarter. <laughs> I do it especially if they're not home. If I know they're not going to be home, then I'll do it. I know I should stop. So this is um, Howlite, and it's a stainless steel ring. It's really cute. I have a um, Howlite pendant, and I couldn't find it. It's new, and um, I could not find it, but I did not not want to show you the ring. And it's stainless, and it has a little oxidation going on that's purposely done, as you can see. And this one's going to be $6 if anyone's interested. It is white halite, natural white halite. And it's stainless steel. Yeah, I like it too. I like natural halite because it kind of looks like white buffalo too a little bit, you know. So it has a little oxidation accents here and there and everywhere. And it is open underneath. See, there's the oxidation, but it's not wear. It's oxidation that they put on the stainless. Um, it's seven and one quarter. Let me double check. Yeah, it's between seven and seven and one quarter. So, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, seven and one quarter, one eighth maybe. Seven and one eighth, we'll just say. See the oxidation? But that's just this. It's a new ring, actually. Okay. I know. It's such a pretty ring. I'll show it with the pendant maybe next week. Um, <clears throat> mm. Oh. So glad I'm not coughing at all, hardly. Okay. Hold on, I'm going to put everything I showed you guys over here. Okay, this one, stainless, and it's CZs, and it's six and three quarters. So not quite seven, it's six and three quarters. Let me take this ring off. Uh, six and three quarters, and they're CZs inset, and that one's five. It's new. It's open in the back. It's a nice ring just to wear, like, you know, with your other rings, maybe. Oh. <clears throat> that is nice, huh? <laughs> I kind of like it. Sorry, guys. I didn't put any lotion on today because I kept having to wash my hands when I was outside. And I was kind of running around getting a lot of stuff done today in the house. <sighs> now, these I'm going to show because it reminds me of the Mardi Gras. Um, so Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras will be starting pretty soon, and these are clip, these are vintage, but they're in excellent shape, really nice shape. They have the Mardi Gras colors, and they kind, they actually do look like the Fleur de Lis. It's like a ruby-ish why does that one look darker? Oh, okay, it's just the lighting. Anyway, it's got all the colors. 
Oh, it was yesterday? Shoot. Well, I could have worn these yesterday. <laughs> this one looks darker. Doesn't it? Hold on. Oh, yeah, it does. Maybe there were two pair. Did I grab the wrong one? No, okay. Anyway, Mardi Gras over. Shoot. We didn't do our shrimp boil. My dad and I usually do a shrimp boil. Well, actually, we do that on, uh, what's it called, Fat Tuesday? We'll do that on Fat Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. We'll do a shrimp boil. And that's when I'll eat potatoes because I normally don't really like potatoes. But um, Okay, let's see. What else shall I show you guys? Oh, I'm going to show you guys this real quick. <clears throat> this is vintage. I have had this for a long time, but I bought it for um, when I was staging because um, I needed sometimes I was doing a lot of houses like in the wine um, region and um, it's a wine. It's a corker cork puller upper, <laughs> but this is old. This is from like the 70s and it's an excellent condition. Um, oh no. See how it's uh, carved in there? It's a glass of wine, the grapes, a vine table. Isn't that pretty? And I can't remember the name of that wood, but I turned it over to make it look more like a West Elm like, you know, or crate and barrel. Um, I had it like on a, a cheese board when I was staging. I'm surprised no one stole it, to be honest. <laughs> Anyways, these sell for kind of a lot of money on um, eBay. And uh, this one's really clean. It's from Italy. And it says it right here. And you just put it in there. And I use these like for picnics and stuff. Or, well, my friends do, I should say. Um, and it just fits in there. Anyways, this one's going to be $6 if anyone's interested. But it's all like, um, I don't know if they carved it or if it's like a laser cut, you know. Anyways, I thought I'd show you guys that because I am trying to declutter uh, things that I like little small stuff that I have from staging. I'm going to be starting to show you guys randomly because I need to get rid of things. Okay. I showed you guys that. And I showed you those. This ring is stainless and it is a size seven. Uh oh, I need to plug my computer in. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Um, yeah, I need to plug it in. Hold on. Okay, this one was like almost size seven. Six and three quarters. It's almost a seven, I'll show you. So it's like on that little line right before. Six and three quarters. And these are little CZs um, inlaid on the side or prong set on the side, a big one prong set in the middle. And the ones around the prong set in the middle are 
cute. My eyes are so bad at night. Gosh, you guys. They are, um, oh, they're all inlaid. Okay, so the ones on the side and around the teardrop are inlaid. Isn't that pretty? This one's going to be $5. I think this one is marked 925. Yeah, it is. Where did it, where'd it go? But it's not. No, wait, not this one. Sorry. A different one that I have. Okay, never mind. Okay, thank you, Diane. Thank you. Let me put it in a baggie. Stainless steel CZ teardrop. Okay, thank you. This sound? Did you guys hear that? Hold on. It's not, now it's not doing it. It's my chair. I don't know. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> I didn't toot, I swear. <laughs> it's, you hear that? No, now it's not doing it when I want it to do it. Um, <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> I swear. Because you keep hearing it. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay, so I have, does anyone like um, some chokers? These are all new. I'm just going to sell them as a lot. I think you can do, um, you can do like little DIYs with them and maybe put like a, hot glue or so, or not so, but like a little cameo. Um, this one has gold tone. It's new hardware, but it's um, black velvet. So there's that one. There's a thinner one. And this one's silver tone. And how you clean velvet, I just clean it with my lint brush. Like that. And then there's two of the new lace ones with the silver tone. They're different style, but they're new. And they're so these ones are silver tone. This one's silver tone, the skinnier one. And then the thicker one is gold tone. So for the Four of these, um, I'm going to say $2 if anyone's interested to do whatever. <laughs> I would say probably more so for preteens, you know. But I've seen in magazines, like, um, like even older ladies, well, you know, like in their early 30s mid mid to mid 40s they will wear the lace ones and then they have like a denim coat i don't know if it's in or not cuz look i'm not i'm not miss stylish over here i used to be at one point in time but i'm i'm just i don't know i really don't you know i don't really do all of that anymore not right now anyway so Four of them, $2. There's two velvets and two um, lace. They're all brand new. And one of them is gold toned. The rest are silver toned. Okay. So just to otherwise, or I might put them in a craft lot, even though they're new. But, you know, that's okay. The 
this in. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Let me just put this in here. All right, that's those. <clears throat> Let me grab this. Uh oh. That noise. Do you guys hear that noise? That noise. It's my chair. God, I hope it's not going to, like, make me fall again. It seems sturdy. I'm scared, though. Oh, that was so embarrassing that time I fell. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Oh, my gosh. That was funny. Not really. Well, yes, it was, but, you know, I'm saving the the new clip-on earrings that look new or in excellent shape for Cricket because she works in an old folks' home, and she can give it to them. So I've been saving all the clip-on earrings for those ladies. Okay. <laughs> I know, huh? That's the last thing I need to do is to fall again. Spring has sprung. Chair noise. <laughs> or is it the chair? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I swear, I I would admit to it if I caught got caught. <laughs> size <laughs> this is size seven, and it's uh, stainless steel. Oh, do you? Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you some. <laughs> um, it's in the gold stainless steel size seven with little CZs. It's like an infinity ring. And this one is five dollars. I need a new overhaul on all. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I need to, um, yeah, I need, I need more clothes. I need everything. But I'm going to wait until I lose weight because I don't want to, I don't want to spend more money. You know, I have clothes leading up to this, that weight or the weight that I'm at. And so I'll have clothes going back down. Um, I just don't want to buy more clothes because I, I need to lose weight for my health, you know? So that's why I say I'm really going to, I'm really trying. So no Taco Bell. So that one's five and it's a size seven. Oh, thank you guys for all the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, let's see, then I have, I'll show a couple brooches here in a second. Okay, I showed you guys that one. Oh, I forgot that one has wear. I don't know what to do with the ring set. They're still like a nice little ring, but it has wear on the underside. See, here's, do you see the wear? It's like kind of coppery. <clears throat> Let's see. Exactly. Get to your ideal weight. No use buying anything until then. I agree. We are having all the junk food the next five days. Oh, boy. Chowder fries? So what are chowder fries? Sounds good. <laughs> Anyways, what do you guys think? To What should I do with this ring? Just toss it? It's CZ's. But it has wear right here. 
on the on the ring part. I don't know if you could see it on the under part right there. I think I should. Okay, they pour clam chowder. Or oh man, that sounds so good. Almost like um, uh, white Alfredo fries, or Alfredo fries, something like that. Oh boy, that would hurt my stomach big time. That's why I can't even eat clam chowder anymore. Oh, Pismo Beach. Yeah, I can see them doing that. I like Pismo Beach. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to get back to my friend. She asked if I wanted to go somewhere for her birthday weekend, and I forgot to, to get back to her. You know how when you look at a text and then you're like, oh, okay, when I have a second, I'll, I'll get back to it and I'll answer them back? Um, and then you forget. Well, I, I did. Like poutine, yeah, that sounds, but it sounds like, well, I think poutine is a thinner, right? It's more like a brothiness, and then the chowder would be thicker. Either way, they're both good. Mm. Now I want fries. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay, this is a size 8. <coughs> this one's pretty. This is a stainless steel one with um, CZs. Look how pretty this one is. It's like a emerald. Let me shine it up a bit. Mm. Oh, I, you know what I like are those chowder bowls in the the um, bread bowl. You know, this one's five. If you guys are interested, I know I'm hungry now too. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, it's like a barbecue sauce? Poutine. Oh, I guess that's right. That sounds good though, too. Mm, now I want fries. You know, I I um I haven't had fries in a long time. <laughs> I really want fries. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jennifer. I went to Quebec. It was interesting. Uh, we hadn't heard of them either until this weekend. Oh, I'm supposed to go to Santa Cruz or somewhere this following weekend. Or was it Capitola? I don't remember what she said. Thank you. This is a pretty ring. Oh, I just can't be gone that long with all my animals. I forgot what size. Was that an eight? Yeah, an eight. And it's really pretty underneath, too. Size eight. Steel. Emerald. CZs. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, there we go. And Jennifer, I'm going to put it in your, you have a flat rate that's going out, and I, I saved it so that if you happen to buy anything, I would put it in there because that all, that will fit, you know. So that's good. Uh, let's see. We eat Italian poutine. It's spaghetti sauce with melted cheese on fries. Wait. Spaghetti sauce with melted cheese on fries. Oh, well, that's not, that doesn't sound bad. No. It's got cheese and has fries and red sauce. Brown gravy. I'm not really too heavy into the gravies, I'll be honest. Or even red sauce, really. But I do like, um, when I go to an Italian restaurant, I usually get gnocchi. And I get half red sauce. No, I take that back. I break it up in three. So that I'll get baked gnocchi. And I get one-third red sauce, one-third Alfredo, and one-third... Um, Pesto. So it's like actually the color of the flag. Oh my gosh. It's so decadent and so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. 
It's so rich. And you could see the oil. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so good. But um, I haven't done that in, like, years. That sounds really good, though, right now, too. I think I am hungry, too. Okay, let's see. Keep I'll keep on going. When I do get off, though, you know what I'm going to have? Because um, I feel like I had a lot of carbs today. So I'm going to have... Um, Lettuce, like uh, iceberg lettuce, you know, no big deal, I suppose, but I need to use it up. And I'm going to put, um, spread, uh, what's it called? Um, when I get tired like this, I can't think. Uh, hummus in it and then roll them up. But, I mean, I like hummus. I just would rather have it with chips, but anyways. Yes, gnocchi is, it's, it is my favorite, even though I don't like potatoes. Isn't that funny? But I like gnocchi a lot. Mm. And what else? Um, I like, um, of course, lasagna, but it has to be vegetarian. And I like, um, I used to love linguine and clams, but I don't eat that anymore. Um. Any of their fish di dishes I really like, too. Brown gravy was on top of it with the cheese curds. Ooh, cheese curds, yum. Now that I like. You're waiting for your lunch. Pat, are you at a restaurant right now? Mmm. You know, I like shrimp scampi, but it hurts my stomach from all the butter. Or oil. I guess it's butter, huh? I do like it, but it hurts my stomach. Restaurant right in Quebec. Oh, how fun. Oh, to travel again. Okay, let me see. All right, I'm going to show you guys this brooch. This little guy is so cute. Oh, food delivery. Oh, how fun. I'm trying to see here. Does this? This is an interesting little piece. I don't know if it has wear or not. It's hard to tell. Kind of looks like it's two tone, but I'm not certain, so I don't want to sell it. It is marked. Oh, wait, it has a serial number. It's a serial number and, oh, it is marked too. Uh, what does that say? Mm, I can't read it. Boy, that's hard to read. I guess it's not where, because on the back it has the two-tone also. So I guess it's just like that. Okay, I can't read the name, you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and show it. I'm buffering. Really? Oh, shoot. I didn't think I'd be buffering with me being plugged into the router. Okay, am I buffering now? Your husband loves poutine. <laughs> okay. Okay, clear. Okay, thank you. So, see how it kind of looks kind of two-tone-ish? But I guess it's on the back the same way. Okay, thanks, guys. Isn't this a cute teddy bear? Now, it does have the serial number on the back. So, see on the back? It has the same look, like the flat part is kind of a silvery color almost. So that's the serial number in there. And then the name is right here in the leg and I can't read it. Um, he's got cute little black eyes and his fur kind of looks like that, um, you know those baby blankets that have the little naps in it? That's what it looks like. I'm gonna say five on this one. If anyone's interested. Oh, 
Oh, I'm a little congested right now, I can tell. Okay, thank you, Pat. I mean, thank you, Jennifer. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay. I'm just going to say teddy bear pin because I don't know who it is. I'll, I'll try to look it up in the morning. I, can, I can't see good at night to look at stuff like this. Teddy bear brooch. Five. Number. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Put it up here. Okay, this, wait, that's, that one is Diane's. Where did that other ring go? Oh, here it is. Okay, this one is super pretty. I think this was the one that was marked 925. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know where I put that ring. This one's really pretty. These are beautiful CZs. Um, I'll show you one second. This one, double check. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> These are um, um, not princess cut. Oh, my gosh. I can't remember anything tonight. Um. Oh my gosh. It's a popular cut for engagement rings and I can't think of the name. <sighs> I am tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. Um oh gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It'll it'll come. Anyways, it's stainless steel. It's a uh, size nine, I believe. Yeah, I forgot already. Nine. Brilliant, no. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. It is a, um, oh my gosh. I can't think of the name. Okay. Anyways, it's stainless steel and it has really pretty, th a trilogy of CZs. They're really like, they're really brilliant looking, actually, because of the, the cut, and I can't think of the cut. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. And no, we're getting there, though. Emerald. It's a popular cut for engagement rings, and I can't remember. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh. Anyways, this one's seven. They are prong set, so one is a little bit higher. The middle one's higher than the other two. Oh, what is the name? It's going to drive me crazy. Okay, it'll come to me. Anyways, it's seven, and it's a size nine. Baguette, no. Those, those are, no. Oh, crikey. I can't remember. I'm like looking at the chat because I'm hoping. Anyways, okay. Well, anyway, it's really a brilliant. There's a lot of brilliance to these because of that darn cut. And I can't remember. Pillow, no. No. Oh, it's a popular engagement ring cut. Darn it. Okay, it whatever. It's that. <laughs> Okay, and that one's uh, seven dollars size nine. They're CZs. Square modified? No. Dang it. Asher cut? No. Hold on. Now I gotta look it up because I'm gonna I'm gonna go crazy. Hold on. Um, let's see. 
can't believe I'm doing this. Popular <laughs> um, engagement ring. Okay, engage. Yeah. Ring cut. Diamond cut. Here we go. Come on. Oh, come on. I hate when it takes you to like websites to. You're talking about Marquis Emerald. <laughs> no, it's not it. Okay, let's see. Um. Boy, it's just not really showing it. Okay, here we go. Here. Our, no. Did any of you Halo no? No? Nope. Oh, forget it. <laughs> That's gonna drive me crazy though. Oh my gosh. Oh well, I'm wasting too much time. Okay, sorry guys. I just when I get something like that in my head, it drives me crazy. Sorry. Okay, moving on. Size nine, seven dollars. If anyone's interested, but it's very brilliant because of that darn cut. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I know I showed you guys this one. I think it was on Saturday. Maybe cushion <gasps> solitaire. No, that's not the no, because that's not the cut. Oh, I can't remember it. Okay, uh, but thank you guys. <laughs> this is a seven and a half. I did show you this one last time. Um, it has a nice big prong cut. Um, see, this is a very different cut in the middle. Um, this is a marquee cut. And then it has some um, smaller ones around the base of the prong set. It's stainless. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and this one's five if anyone's interested. And it's got blue like stones around the base. And I forgot the size again, hold on. Um, seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half. Okay. It has embossing on the side. Uh, okay. That's going to bug me I, that I can't remember. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay. Then I have this um, here. And I had to write myself a note on it. Marquee, no. Oh. Okay. This one is a really pretty um, necklace. It is brand new. It's green cat's eye and Austrian um, crystals. And I can't read the last part I put, but um, it is missing one of the earrings. Now I know it's here. No, no. <clears throat> It is missing one of the earrings, so I'm just going to sell it without the earrings. And um, if I find the earrings, which is mo most likely I probably will, <clears throat> whomever buys them, I'll let them know. Hmm. So it's just the necklace, okay? So it's a green cat's eye with the Austrian crystals. And it is new, and it did have earrings, but um, 
It's on silver tone, but the setting is done in stainless, like usual. Uh, let me put it on the mannequin. It's very pretty. Okay. Trillion? No, <laughs> now I got. Now you guys are going crazy over it too. <laughs> So this is green cat's eye with Austrian crystals around the green cat's eye. And the setting is all in stainless steel. It's got a teardrop. I know, it's bothering me too. <laughs> the chain itself, it's like a um, flat chain. I can't remember the name for this chain either, but I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> it is silver tone. And it's really pretty. It did have earrings. I do have the other one. It's somewhere, but it probably fell in, down in the bottom of the box. Um, so once I find it, I will let you guys know. But I'm just going to sell it without the earrings. Yeah, isn't that pretty? And this one is going to be $10 if anyone's interested. It's all cat's eye. It's all new. It's stainless steel in the setting, silver tone in the chain, all Austrian crystal. And it's got a teardrop. Rivera Pave. No. Maybe I'm thinking of Princess Cut. Maybe it is. Maybe it is Princess Cut. I, I, you know what? I got to sleep on it, but I think maybe you're right. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Ten. And then this is the back. This is the um, stainless steel part. <laughs> Gosh, if it is, you guys, I mean, I put you guys through this oh, for like 10 minutes. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> I'm so tired. I really did not. I have not been sleeping good. And then um, these motor boats are driving me crazy. <laughs> I know. I know, Wanji. Uh, so then it has the Austrian crystal one in between each and then the Austrian crystal around. So 10 on this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, did I tangle it? There we go. <clears throat> It just doesn't sound right, but it probably is. It's driving me crazy. Oops. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> Okay, hopefully I can find the earrings soon, um, and I will send them to you. Okay, Jennifer. Uh, let's see, green, cat's eye, Austrian crystal necklace. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
You do? I want to see your ring then. <laughs> it probably is princess cut, but it's just for some reason it sounds weird. But it sounds right too. Okay, these are. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is. Okay, these are not Millifiori. Uh, um, or are they? I'm trying to see because. <clears throat> Some, oh, I guess they are because they're not painted. It's in the glass. Okay. Yeah. Millifiori. <coughs> That's this glass earring. I just want to see. Are they silver? No. Okay. <laughs> um, these are aqua colored Millifiori. Um, earrings, they have a little bit of um, gold sparkle in it, and it's got the rose. They're really pretty. Let me put them against a white card. Okay, I'm going to put them against this card. These are on little French hooks. Hopefully you can see. Sorry, I have them on this card that. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> and these are gonna be four. And they're the glass. And they've got the little French hooks. Milliferrani. I feel like I'm saying that wrong now, too. Okay, thank you, Diane. I need sleep, I think. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know what? It's these darn motorboats that are going up and down the freaking waterway, and I can't sleep because it's like you hear their motor. Yes, they do have, oh, they do have roses. I just realized that. Yes, they do. Yes. There was something I saw the other day, Becky, and I thought, oh, my gosh, she would love these. And and um, I put it aside for you, and I was going to text it to you, and then I, I don't know where I put it. I swear that's happening to me so much because that's the problem. I'm so, like, I have things here and here and here, and I feel like everything's, you know, been kind of displaced, and I try to organize it, and then I forget where I organize it to. Thank you. You still need to pack? Are you leaving tomorrow, Bungie? Mil Eforani earrings. I'm just going to say earrings with roses. Thank you. <coughs> okay, I'm going to show you guys a um, couple things again in case anyone came in later. But, um, these are the Chinese marble stone in purple with the green adventurine. Millifiori. Thank you. See, I can't. What is wrong with me today? I can't think of the words. I can't say them right. Oh, my gosh. Millifiori. I, when I went to Venice, I remember I was watching them make um, Venetian glass. I couldn't afford it at all. In fact, I bought um, two rings at, from Pier 1 that were from Venice. That was the only way I could afford it. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so these are on silver-plated ear hooks. Okay, and this is Green Aventurine. And then this is the Chinese Marble Stone. And it's like a really pretty... Deep purple. 
Aren't they pretty? Anyways, <laughs> I just this is on that card that got messed up. Anyways, so this one, um, I don't remember what I said originally because now I forget because I had she had different price on this one. This one is eight dollars because it has the um, silver plated. Now she does have silver ear hooks too, but this one's silver plated. Just so you guys know, if you want silver, um, it's a little more. Isn't that pretty? And then I'll show you guys this one. <clears throat> now these are sold, but she has more of these, just to let you guys know. Oh, did I tangle that? So these have the three venturine and then the um, amethyst. And these are on surgical steel. And these are seven. Aren't they pretty though? Okay. Okay. And then these, did these come off? Oh. I don't know why these came off. These are five. She does have more of these. It's the Venturine, the Black Jasper, and Amethyst. And these are five. Okay. Oh, and then this one. These are seven. The Black Jasper. And those are longer. I'll show. These are five. Coral. Howlite and Black Jasper. And there's a couple of color combos on those. That's why. Okay, that's the same one. There was one that was different, though. I kind of like that one. It's this one. One fell off, though. And these are five. Coral, Howlite, and then the Black Jasper at the bottom. And this one was different. Okay. So those have a little bit of a Native American coloring to them. Okay. Then I have these. I think I showed you guys this last time. Now these are Swarovski. And um, I like these colors actually. And you could look at that the um, sheen off of them, the sparkle, I mean. These are five, because these are Swarovski. And they're like a hot pink and a light pink. Okay. Mm, what did I have here? Oh, and I have this little ring. I forgot. Um, th this is actually um, rose quartz. And then the this is a glass bead. But it's a little ring that they made. It's a little big on that finger. Let's see. So it's kind of, I mean, it's not as beautiful as the work that Lydia does, but it's, you know, same idea. Um, Francis, you wanted the, um, which one? That one, or this one, Take it. the coral on top or the bottom. Thank you. Okay. Um, how am I going to remember this one? I'm just going to... Hold on. Let me put it in pile because otherwise... 
Alrighty, so let's move on. Buffering, really? Gosh darn it, it shouldn't buffer. Let me close something out. Let's see. Maybe if I close this and this. Let's see if that will help. Okay. Tell me if I'm buffering. Okay. I got it, Francis. Oh, it's distorted. Oh, coral on bottom. With the coral on bottom. That one. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. I might, maybe I should end it. Oh, it's fine now? Okay, so it's this one, the coral on the bottom. Okay. So that's that one. Got it. Okay, it's okay now? All right. Um, oh, my nose itches. I showed you guys the tree of life. I'm going to put that over here. And I showed you the Philly Eagles. <laughs> okay, I showed you. Okay, let me show you guys that. These are six. Vatican. These have Mother Pearl. Uh oh. Maybe I have to start it. Maybe I should end it. What time? Let's see how long. I've been on two and a half hours. Okay. Okay. Good night, Jennifer. Thank you. All right, I'm going to show you guys these last two, and I'm going to end it, I think, because it's kind of bad, it sounds like. These are Mother of Pearl and Howlite and Seed Bead, so it's like peach and kind of a salmon color Mother of Pearl. These are six. Okay. And then these are, um, these are like brand new. She didn't make these, though. Or did she? Crap, I don't remember. I don't remember. And they're like this really pretty green and like bronze and red and clear. These are glass and they have cool little backs on them. And these are five. I think these are Swarovski, these ones. I don't know if you could see the little shimmer shimmers on it. Okay, and I'll show you this little necklace and we'll end it because I think it's probably bad if it's lagging like that. Um, here's a, uh oh, it's tangled. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign. Uh, let's see. Hmm, I think I tangled it. You can't tell the. Okay, I'm going to give up on that one because I think it's tangled. <laughs> well, guys. You want these ones, Francis? Oop. The cool backs.
Okay, thank you. I'm going to call them um, green, red, clear. I'm going to say glass, but I think they might be Swarovski earrings. Okay, thank you. I guess there is a bad lag. It seems like it. All right, guys. I think I'm going to have to end because it sounds like it's lagging so bad. Um so thank you for hanging in there, everyone. I appreciate it. And um, <clears throat> uh, let's see, I'll, I'll be on Saturday. And thanks, guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I am I think I'm just tired tonight. <laughs> I can't think of the words or anything. But um Thank you, everyone, and I hope you guys have a good night. Don't forget, Martha's on tomorrow, and um, I think that's it. That's all who's on. And then Friday, I don't know who's on Friday. I can't remember. It's kind of different. I know Patsy's on in the morning on Friday. Thank you, guys, and uh, Manji, I'll text you real quick um, when we get off, and um, I hope you guys have a good night. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Okay, your call, yes. Okay. I'm going to text you real quick, Manji. Okay. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Good night. And.